It can sometimes mean the difference between life and death. Doctors and patients often seek second opinions, but what if that help came from a form of artificial intelligence? A Toronto hospital is teaming up with a world leader in AI development to give doctors access to a groundbreaking way of diagnosing illnesses. They're often the first step in medical diagnoses. Radiologists rely on images like x-rays and MRIs to help diagnose illnesses like cancer. But occasionally, doctors differ in opinion on what they see. That's where AI really takes comes into the picture because you know AI is, is primed for that type of work. It's really image analysis is, is a, a great area for artificial intelligence. Leon Gunaratni is a senior director at the University Health Network. UHN, along with researchers at the University of Waterloo and the Vector Institute, are developing an AI program that would read medical images and provide feedback. Doctors here are already using a program called Coral Review that allows them to quality check each other's work. The software that we built was essentially a, a mechanism for physicians who are in their regular workflow um, they can provide feedback on another physician's diagnostic report. Rather than looking at doing a second pair of eyes on two or three percent of cases, you know, it'd be great if we could do it 100 percent of cases. The AI software being developed will build on that program. We are trying to basically go after the biggest problems of medical imaging, which is what we call user variability, observer variability, that the different radiologists may have a different diagnosis looking at the same image and it seems that artificial intelligence can assist to remove that variability. The team are gathering data from UHN to feed into the AI software. Roughly 25,000 x-ray images to start with notes from a specialized group of radiologists. There may be uh, some patients who have concerns or may be worried about the fact that it's a computer that's helping with their diagnosis. What would you say to them? At the end of the day, it's still a human. It's, a, it's still a radiologist or a pathologist, a physician that is taking that input from the, the, the algorithm, the software, and then ultimately they're interpreting and deciding whether this actually makes sense or not. The aim is to have the AI program ready to roll out within 18 months. It will first be tested within the UHN's network of hospitals before potentially spreading to other hospitals in Ontario. Using AI to read medical images is just one of several major projects that the Vector Institute is working on. Coming up, a look at some of the other ways it's being deployed in healthcare and how this may advance worldwide research on artificial intelligence. Toronto's Vector Institute is advancing research in artificial intelligence. Early we showed you how they're working with Toronto General to use AI technology to read medical images. But this is just one of Vector's AI health projects, the latest helping newborn babies. The project is aimed at assisting physicians in identifying sepsis in premature infants. Sepsis is a potentially deadly condition that occurs as a result of the body's response to an infection. And this is a disease that can literally uh, have an infant going from appearing stable to dying within 24 hours. So you can appreciate um, you know, anything that technology can bring to that. Infants in intensive care have multiple machines tracking different aspects of their health. Paprisa says AI technology can take the collective data from all machines to more quickly identify when sepsis may occur. So again, this idea of you know many signals that on themselves a human maybe couldn't process in the moment, but we want to bring computer processing to it. Vector is working on a total of five Pathfinder projects that integrate AI into healthcare. We have one that's in public health and it's about using computer vision to identify the ticks that carry Lyme disease. And the ultimate goal there would be an app that everyone can use on their own phone if they find a tick and they want to know if they're at risk of contracting Lyme. The last Pathfinder project that I'll talk about is an early warning system for general internal medicine at St. Mike's Hospital. And there they've already done some great work developing code which will help physicians and other people in the hospital recognize those people that are at risk of really worsening health earlier than would be possible without taking all that data and processing it with AI. When we think about the health sector overall, we just have so much data that's generated because we've moved away from paper processes and a lot of it isn't really used at all. Now some of it humans can easily process on the spot, but there's also an opportunity to bring computer scientists, AI and machine learning in to turn that data into actionable knowledge and that's what the Pathfinder projects each do. Paprisa says our publicly funded healthcare system makes AI research in Canada particularly useful around the world. It means that the data collected comes from a more diverse representation of a population. Now, Vector is one of three institutes in Canada advancing AI research. There are also institutes in Edmonton and Montreal.